Come on, go, go! Go, go, go! Catch it! You can catch it, yeah, come on! Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here for a great GTA video, and I'm gonna be critiquing a game that I had a lot of difficulty. So what I did was I brought in my grandson, who plays GTA, and some people say, is he too young? Actually not, they know this stuff and he knows it's a game. So we're gonna watch him play the game. I'm gonna have him stop and start and tell you what can be good or not. All right, we're gonna jump right in. All right, Alexander just started the mission as you can see. And here we go, he has to go get the mission first. Let's go. All right, let's see how his driving is everybody. You know me with driving. He looks like a drunk driver to be honest right now. Get it straight, kiddo. Get it straight. No, you're doing good. You're doing good. All right. All right. Now drive the way you normally would drive a GTA. <laughs> there they go. He's through lights, through everything. Well, he's going to be good when he gets his learner's permit. You do know you don't drive like this normally, right? Oh, okay. All uh, right. You're getting to the... Uh, uh, to the apartment uh, to get the mission. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, here we go. Now look what I'm looking at. If this is a real robbery, I'm looking at how busy these streets are. Is it is it a good spot? How quick the getaway could be? Uh, because, you know, where would the cops come? I would know where these cops are from. Oh boy, this is a go oh, oh, good move. He got through the cars. All right, you're doing it. Why are you driving like back and forth? Are you a little, you know, drunk or what? No, you're not drunk? I have to cover it. All right. Is it us? Oh, it's, it's the next driveway. There we go. See, listen, guys, I know this game, too, now. All right, gate's opening. This is Michael's house. Now, what I always thought about with this with Michael's house, you got such a nice house like this. Why would you do me two petty robberies, you know, or, or repossessions or whatever it's going to be? Man, you must have money. All right, what's the mission going to be? Oh, yeah. So somebody's going to steal the boat, and you have to... Oh, it's the boat mission. Yes. Yeah, and we got to repossess the boat. Yeah. All right. Well, the boat, we never really uh, catch the boat. The boat. Right all there. right, look at this. Yeah. Uh, you moved past the two hot girls in the kitchen? <laughs> hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. With... Dad, shit. I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's, it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. We all know this is the yacht that? mission. I that tried this insane. mission so many times, everybody, right, and I couldn't at the oh, end. I'll show you where I messed up, and I know you guys all don't. Right, and I don't think Alex Jay will plans. either. My darling right, Alexander? I'll try. All right, right you'll try? That, you play a lot of GTA? Yeah. How much is a lot? Well... I'm gonna start getting back into it. I was I've been playing it more often. You have been playing it more often. Yeah. Well, when I asked you to come on here, did you practice? You told me not to. I told him not to. <laughs> he's got to play it legit. All right. Here they go. He knows what he's doing. He knows the game well enough that he knows he follow. He don't hit your own wall. No. Don't hit the lady. All right. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in the bathtub. Shit, things that Wait, do. Wait, you have right. to go behind him? No, no, you did right. Get far. You know what to do. I don't got to tell you what to do. Self I know it well. I'm getting used to GTA. He even rides on the opposite side of the street. He's he's worse than a lot of people. It's worse than me. What is he doing? You now, pause for a second. Okay, everybody. You do know... Driving is one of the most important things in any kind of robbery. And as I say, as you all tease me, ah, mission's over, because he would have got caught. Well, people would have pinned him out. And they know what car it is. It is a car driving crazy. There's no way you drive normal, you go to your robbery, you do it, and you want to be inconspicuous. Robberies are not about being conspicuous. It's about being inconspicuous, which means under the radar. Go ahead, Alexander. Have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. Why do you I'm drive back and forth? Are you drunk? Rip. What did you get something in your time. juice this morning? Did, did your dad put vodka in there or something? Because You're doing this. See, I'm a good driver now. Everybody says, hey, lad, your driving's got real good. 
That you are, my friend. I just drive. I don't really care which side of the road I go on. I, I know, but you were caught, that means. And now, look at this. We went from more of the city action, now we're more in the country action, as you can see. But look how crowded the roads are, everybody. This would be freaking me out or spooking me out in a robbery. Oh, then you get hit. Now the lady's got your uh, license plate number. Now what? And he has a very recognizable license number. Anybody notice that? K R Y S T. That's easy, so people are gonna be able to remember that either. There's the boat. It's got to get the boat. I know this part. Come on, get to the boat. Watch you jump on the roof. I got this part down. Oh, look at that guy! He's driving crazy. Okay, this part I did all right in. You're not. Oh, this is a crazy heist. Look at this. This is so unreal. Stop. First of all, that boat could have never gone under an overpass like that. It's gonna hit. It's too high, and it's gonna be a wide load. They wouldn't let them under those kind of overpasses. That's number one. Now, what he's doing is following the mission is what you're supposed to be doing. And we're gonna watch what he does because I know this part. This part is kind of funny because he's got he's gonna get on the roof. Trust me, don't ever do anything like that in life. Oh my God, look at this. You gotta be crazy to do something like this. Right. Oh, oh, look at it, look at it. The, the mayhem on the road. How many cops do you think would have been called already? You gotta get to him. Jump. Oh, we got it. Look at that, he's on the boat one time. This is one take, everybody. He's doing good. Does he know what to do after this, though? This is what I didn't know. I did this part. I actually got this far. And his bad driving's hurting him. He wouldn't be my getaway driver, that's for sure. Oh! He just wasted it. Oh, no, he threw the guy off. No, 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 he did good. You just killed the guy, you know. That's murder. He, he threw him on me. But well, it's murder. You're doing a commission of a felony. Guy died. What are you doing? You, 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 your driving's rough, kid. <laughs> your driving's rough. Listen, I gotta take, send you to Larry's uh, gangster driving school. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at the boom. Look at that boom. Oh, is this funny? Oh, no. You see how high he is? He went over that truck. Oh, look at this. The, the, oh, look at it. Oh, you, uh oh, he's going to get away. I don't remember this part with the boom coming out. I don't remember that part, unless this is a new part of the game. Oh, there you go. Oh, you did something. You went over something. That's, aren't, isn't that good? You go over that thing? I have to go on. I have to get on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Drive, drive. You want me to take over? Oh, he's still going. I'm slipping. Go right there. Come on, go, go! Go, go, go! Catch it! You can catch it! Yeah, come on! There it is. Yeah, you see? Okay, got somebody back in the car. One of your one of your one of Oh, another guy just fell out! Oh my god! Stop the game for a minute. Is this crazy? Do you know how many cops to be on us and there's not one cop on us yet? Think about that. You're running through the streets of uh Los Santos, which is LA and there's not a cop on you anywhere and you got a stolen boat with the boom hanging out with cars getting things, people falling off. This game's over. But it's not. Alexander's gonna complete this mission. Go ahead. Hey, get me off the damn thing. Right. For fuck's sake. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was all right, where, where's the boat? What happened to the boat? You're not supposed to get it. As soon as um, Franklin got on, it said go to Los Santos Customs. I don't think you're supposed to get the boat. Oh, you mean we don't get the boat? This no. is a new game? Or I remember I was supposed to... Or you just throw the guy off and that's it? No, I... All right, let's get to the end of the mission. Yeah. Shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No. Not that. You know, there's language in these games, everybody. You're used to that. Don't bother you, does it? Is your car broke with the smoke? Yeah, that's where we're going. We're going to Los Santos Customs. To fix the car? Yeah. Why? Because you broke it? Yeah, because it's broken. Will it make it there? Yeah. But it can't go fast. I don't think so, no. 
You know, you would never be able to complete this mission, everybody. I don't remember trying this with the boom swinging out and everything else. I just don't get this one yet. But we're going to keep working on it. And we're going to go over the game itself. But I love the graphics in this game, everybody. Look at them. You were talking about, I mean, it's almost real. There's trucks and cars and slow traffic. And, and Now, me, I yell at trucks that are in the left lane. That's just Larry when he drives. I just can't stand that. I said, what are you doing in the left lane? My dad told us when you drive, you, if you're slow traffic, you stay in the right lane. They got trucks in the left lane over here. Well, this is Los Santos. That's the worst thing that can happen if you're in a robbery and you, you, you're kind of like under your, out of your control. Oh, you're trying to go fast and you can't? There you go. You got smoke coming out of your engine, not going to make it. You know, you do drive like you're drunk. You go like back and forth like this. You, you're giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, everybody out there. You've all been praising my driving. I'm getting a lot better and I can see why. Look at this guy. He's been playing this game since he's six years old. Five. Five. He's been playing it for five years. Five years. You're 10? Yeah. All right. You like this game? Yeah. Yeah. Who's your favorite character? Don't say Lester. My online character. Don't you want me into the game so I can take over from Lester? Yeah. Now, this is the custom place. What are we doing here? We're not done with the mission yet. We have to repair the car and then go back. Now we're in Franklin's character. Oh, we switched everybody. As you can see, we're at the Franklin's car. Michael's getting in the cab. And now we're Franklin. Who's the little fat kid? Um, that's Jimmy. He's Michael's son. Oh, that's Michael's son. Say, so, yeah, there you go. I didn't know that method. I just learned something. Now, this is a custom shop. What is he going to do? Is he going to fix the car? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we used to call chop shops. We had them outside. We had a chop shop at a golf course. We'd bring the car in there and it'd be stripped to nothing. It'd be a carcass, a literal carcass that four or five guys can lift up the carcass and just put it on a pile. And that's what it was because the car itself was stripped, I mean, to the bone. And this is kind of what it is. Am I correct? Is this like a chop shop where you do illegal things? I think I'm just repairing the car. I don't think it's anything illegal. Oh, you just fixed the car? Yeah, I can also. Now, is this costing you money? Yeah. Change the color. Let's get the color changed. You know, if you got a color, you got to change, especially if you're going to a shop so they don't see you. That's the first thing you change. Because what's an APB? All points bulletin. You know what the APB is going to say? Be on the lookout for a red uh, convertible Ferrari or whatever that is. Yeah, I'm just going to go back. Well, let's get, the let's, let, let's get the color changed. What kind of chop shop are you in? There you go. Blue. Blue opposite. That's to be way opposite from red. So white maybe, something like that. But that looks good. Dark blue car. Nobody will notice that. Blue and then. There you go. Get any red out of it. There you go. Good. Huh, Let's go. As you can see what he's doing, the right thing. He's changing the color of the car, moving out. No one will spot him. He completed the mission where I couldn't. I think the end of that mission is just throwing somebody off the boat. I have to go to uh, Michael's house now. Let's go to Michael's house. Okay. But he completed the mission. Am I correct? Did you complete the mission? Uh, well, after I go to Michael's house, I completed it. All right, we're heading to Michael's house. We're going to complete the mission. But I couldn't get to throw somebody off. Did you do that? What? Did you throw those people off the boat or did the game throw them off? Um, Franklin did. He was like just a computer guy at that point. So I think, so the game kind of did. The game. So all you did was follow him? Yeah, I had to catch him off and get him off the boat. Well, that's when you went under that yellow thing. Yeah, because I had to catch him with the car. Well, if you can't catch a boat with a car, you're in bad shape. You know that. Yeah. How would they even get the boat on the car, and how would they go that fast? Well, they wouldn't go that fast, obviously. They wouldn't be under an overpass. That's another thing, obviously. And uh, you couldn't drive that way without having everybody in the world up your ass, meaning every cop, every state highway. But dude, don't wreck my car. You just fixed the car. <laughs> how are you going to wreck the car now? What's a helicopter doing here? I don't know. Oh, it's a helipad. All right, let's go. Let's get to the place. Can you get there without crashing or banging my car up here? I'll try. All right, I don't want you to wreck this car at all. You're going to pay for it. It's coming out of your allowance. Don't hit. Don't hit the curb. Don't hit the curb. Come on, you're going to ruin my rims. Now look at, stop, stop. Look at this, everybody. If you look at the game itself 
and you look on the right, there's uh, buildings. You could always duck into that. You always have to be on the lookout for where you want to go if the cops are coming. What's your exit strategy? Where's your plan? GTA doesn't do that. They make a yellow line for you. A real game, you would scope out the city. And I can make that game really good by scoping out the city, giving you different alternatives, and having different stuff pop in. Maybe a civilian called the cop because they saw the car, or it was a cop on the road, and he got an APB, which is all points bulletin. Whatever it is, they're making it easy for you here. I would make it a little bit tougher because I'd make the civilian population be part of who you have to avoid. Like what Alexander's doing, he's driving like he's drunk. Someone's going to call and say, hey, listen, there's a drunk driver out here. And they're going to come and stop you. So no more of that. Go ahead, kiddo. Hey, you play with this <laughs> Look at this. He's driving better. Oh, I don't want him to wreck the car. I'm going to see if he can do that because you guys know me. Once you wreck the car, do what do I always say? Mission's over. Yeah, but I didn't wreck the car yet. I just You didn't. I had a great time last week playing with the, the guys, and I'm going to be doing playing more online games with people. And we're going to make our own crew. All right, there he is. He's actually he's driving so good. Slow. Yeah, I know, but that's the way. But see all these stop. You see all the people right there? Well, can go slow. See all the people right there? They would notice you if you banged somebody. Maybe someone would take a plate number. Maybe someone would say, man, there's a blue car convertible. So that's how the cops get on you. You did this mission with no cops. That's a plus. You did a good job. Especially in front of a news building. Wait, what? Now what are you going to do? You're in front of the news. <laughs> right? Uh, you got to pay attention to your surroundings. There's an ammunition store, but there's the news. So you got to pay attention to where you are. Okay, look at He's driving good. Go ahead, straight. Let me see you go straight driving. All right. So far, no accidents. Can he do that? Can he make this mission without an accident and ruin my blue car? Uh, 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 don't you dare you back to being a drunk driver. I shouldn't go Are you out. watching what's around you? Are you watching this is a parking garage you can go hide in? You didn't notice that, did you? No. See? That's what a professional criminal does. He looks where every opportunity is to escape or get an alternate route. You got it now? Remember, this is a game. <laughs> All right. We're almost there. Look at that. Oh, yellow light. Ooh. You almost wrecked my car. Oh, you're spinning my tires? You're ruining my rubber? You cost a lot of money, tires. You know how much tires are on a car like this? And now he's going to spin them out and ruin my rubber? I'm trying to get... I'm just like a race car. Look at it. He even left the, uh, the tread marks there. That's my rubber. Just cost me money in tires. All right. Oh, well, that guy ran a red light. Did you see that? He should have gotten arrested. He should. He should have gotten tried. Got, that guy could have got a ticket. No. What is oh, with this stupid, I don't, uh, these stupid cars? You're talking about the lights, right? All right. He's riding good. Go, go, get, make the light. Oh, you just made it. Okay, it was close. Whatever. Look at this red Ferrari. See, I'm looking at all the cars. Look at a car next to me. What a nice, rich area. The first thing I'm doing in this game is saying, wait a minute. This got cars like this. This is a good area to rob. You know, I always used to but tell people. people are around us. Yeah, there's a lot of people, right? You noticed? What that? What does that mean? A lot of witnesses. A lot of witnesses. Man, this kid's quick. A lot of eyes on you. And you don't know what they're going to pick up. So in a real game, which you're not going to ever do, in real life, you got to watch who's around. This looks like a lot of prostitutes either. We must be in some kind of high area. A lot of high-end prostitutes, but with Lamborghinis around. You don't I, know about that. Don't worry about I it. Ain't <laughs> Forget. It. Okay, so fight! Oh, 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 oh! Don't wreck my car! Oh, was that close? That was like inches. Oh, you come on, you go. But you made it. But you almost wrecked my car. You know, here's where the car we left it. You remember the old car? Get in the gate. Get in the gate. Yeah. Don't crash. Oh, you did good. Oh, good job. Wow. All right, where, are we in the mission? Do we get to the mission? Is that it? Give me five. What a mission, man. What did you learn from that game? I suck at driving. No, well, you know about driving and why you got it right. Did you learn about paying attention to your surroundings? Mm -hmm. Did you even know there was a news building in this game? 
How many times have you been on this machine? Not this one, on GTA? Thousands? Oh, you got to look what's around you. Got it? And you got to look at the witnesses. The mission is the mission. But to do it right, you got to do it right. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We're going to have a lot of fun with GTA. We're going to get better and better at it. I want you to always remember this is a game. Don't think any part of this is even realistic and it's the littlest way. It's fun. Have fun with it, but make good choices when you're out there. Have a great day. Stay tuned for more GTA movie reviews, untold stories, cooking show. Everything's coming. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe.